Hey everyone, I wanted to thank you so much for coming over to my new vlog channel. This is the first video that I'm posting on this channel. You may be wondering why I'm starting a vlog channel. Well, I found myself on my channel not posting certain videos or doing certain things because I felt like maybe that's not long enough to be a full video on my channel or it's a haul and it's not gonna get as much views. And I found myself really not posting all the content that I wanted to and I thought, you know what, that's silly. I decided I'm gonna start a vlog channel, I'm gonna post all the content that necessarily doesn't fit on my main channel over on this channel. So you're gonna see things like hauls, you're gonna see things like more in-depth projects that I can't really take the time to post online, maybe me thrifting. Honestly, there's so many ideas that I have and I'm really excited. So if you're new here, please make sure to take the time and subscribe. That way I'm just gonna pop up in your newsfeed anytime I post on this channel. So why you guys came today is I'm showing you my latest Dollar Tree haul. I haven't done a haul video in so long and I'm glad to be doing it because these are the items I'm gonna be using to DIY with for this fall, so I definitely wanted to show you. So I have been on the lookout for fall stuff and it's a little early, but most stores start putting it out right after July 4th. So you wanna get in and get it while the stuff is there because after, you guys know, it gets, it gets sold out. Okay. So let's just start. First thing, these are things that they had last year, you guys. I'm seeing some of the same stems. Uh, these are like little pumpkin stems. These are great for wreath making. They look great in an arrangement. I picked up probably five or six of them. I'm definitely gonna use them this year, so pick those up. I also really like these little cattails. Um, they come in some different colors, but I think these brown ones look the most realistic, so I grabbed several of those. I've also seen the cotton stems out at two different stores, so I know those are always really hard to find. I will say I don't feel like the quality of them are as good as they have been in years past, but I think they definitely will be nice. I didn't pick any of those up because I, I have a bunch of them. So a new item that I found were these little picks. Look at these, you guys. They came in a box with several different little, um, options but i think these are gorgeous these were the ones that i loved i grabbed maybe four of them these are going to be great for putting in wreaths little floral arrangements to set around candles there's so many things you can do with these i also found these wood pieces usually the ones at my store are you know smaller than that but i liked how these were longer i thought these would make great pumpkin stems so i went ahead and picked up those Another new item that they've had out in the summer is this wire juke cord, and it's just, you know, thick. I don't have anything in mind just yet, but there's really a lot of options for it, and I like that it has the wire in it. So I went ahead and just picked up one in case I need it for future projects. I also grabbed these little galvanized frames. I got a project to plan for these. I grabbed four of them. Um, but I thought these were really cute and are gonna be great for fall. I, let's see. I also noticed they had out new placemats and I saw this one and I thought, this is great. It's a very flimsy material, but this is going to be great in a project and I love the little modern geometric print to it. So I picked up two of those. I hope you guys have a store that offers the real wood pieces. I know I've seen them in a lot of stores. Let me know down in the comments if your store carries the wood items because they're really nice. Um, the first item I got was this tiny little wood crate. Now the problem with these are they're very small. So my suggestion is to get multiple of them and come up with projects where you can create a larger item. So I got something in mind for these. I did get several of them, um, but on their own, they look pretty small, but when you add to them, they can make a really nice project. I also got this little home sign. I thought this would be great for maybe taking this portion off to use in a project. I don't really know exactly where I'm gonna go with this, but definitely had to get this. There were a few other signs. I wanna say maybe family. I'm not sure what the other one was. 
Next, I found these wood beads and how cute are these? They're kind of long, but painted a similar color. I think these would be great. So I picked up a package of these. I also grabbed one of these and I think this would make a great like into a sign. It also would make a great ornament. So, you know, I'm always thinking ahead. Okay, this is hands down my favorite thing that they've had out lately. And I have projects coming with these. They're these cork sheets. Oh my goodness, you guys. They're sheets of cork and they're sticky. So you can just cut them off and stick them to projects. Like these are great, I love these. So I definitely got several of these projects and I'm excited to use these. So cool. I also picked up a package of these sponges. If you, there. <laughs> If you guys watch Caroline's um, bathroom makeover video, I used these sponge to put like a little dot and stenciled on the wall with these. These are great. They make like the perfect circle in projects. So, and you get, you know, three different sizes. So I usually grab these whenever I see them. I always like to have these little chalk writer pens. I've been looking for a chalkboard for my living room like an old one that's green and so i'm hoping to find that i don't know i'm on the lookout but you never know i also found in that little craft section they had these sponges and uh, normally i get them in the section with like all the paint supplies but i like the smaller ones uh, because those are easier to fit like in your paint brushes and stuff i was excited to find these and they come in let's see there's six in the pack. So I thought the video was going to be over here, but of course I decided to go to Dollar Tree again. It is the Monday after July 4th weekend. And I told you guys in the video that July 4th is when they start putting out fall stuff, back to school stuff. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take you with me and let's see if they have any fallout yet. Okay, let's go. have out all the school supplies I was looking at these little pencil holders because my daughter is gonna have a locker this year and then these little pencil pouches are really cute these little glittery ones so I'm definitely gonna pick up a couple of those we use those at our school so I'll probably get like a pink and a blue or probably pink and purple I love these little organizers and they have them in these cute pastel colors. Ooh, what are these? Ooh, those are cute little dry erase boards. I love having these little scissors around the house. So these look like fun new colors. I'm gonna pick up some of those. We're gonna grab one of these little magnet mirrors. And this is the only real locker stuff I'm seeing right now. I'll get a purple one. They have out some new storage stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. They have all these little containers. I'm trying to see if I notice anything new. Oh, I did notice these the other day. So these are stackable. So you take them and you put them like this and then you can stack one on top of it. The ones I got sit down flat. That one's not sitting down very well. Yeah, they sit down like that. So these are great for stackable. These are really cute little bags for only a dollar. I think my girls would really like those. I'm probably gonna get two in like this 
pattern. All right, this is all the fall that I'm seeing at my store right now. Looks like similar pumpkins to last year's. Hopefully they have more. And those look like little pumpkin candles. All right, this is like our wood crafting section. So I'm gonna see if I can find anything new over here. Okay, ooh, I haven't seen these little dry erase easels. Those are new to me. I've seen like those types of chalkboards, but those are cute. I'm obsessed with this new section. Ooh, this is nice. It's like a utility knife. That's a good deal for a dollar. I think I might try these brushes out. Okay, it looks like they have more crafting pieces. I've been looking for those big cube blocks. I don't know if you've seen those anywhere. I haven't been able to find those, but let's see, these are new. I haven't seen these. I think I'm gonna grab some of these wood dowels. I'm gonna get three packages. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I'm getting them. stickers. I love these little stencil letters that you can paint with. I just noticed these cute little craft clamps. I'm going to grab some of these. These would be great for little projects that you want to hold together. So I'm going to get some of these. If you haven't gotten out and looked for items at your Dollar Tree for fall, go check it out now before those items get picked over in your store. Some of your stores may be late to roll them out, who knows? So make sure if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and I can't wait to bring you new and exciting videos on this channel. So I'll talk to you guys later, bye.